Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because we're going to kind of be doing science. Science with Sam, because we're going to be seeing how high we can jump off a selection of different hopper ramps. But we're not just going to jump over a bar, we're going to jump over stuff that you know the size of. So we're going to start small, work our way up and hopefully jump over a building. So the first thing we want to do is get this ramp built then we can jump over that bench just there. So let's do some magic. Here we go. Whoa. Oh my God, that's so good. Forgot how good magic was. So obviously this is about, what's that? One foot, two foot ramp. That's gonna go here. And then we're gonna hop a bench, which is at the grand height of about three foot tall. So let's get a little send on my enduro bike. Wait, why has it just got so windy for? Oh. Oh. Here we go, little run up to jump the bench. Easy. You knew that was gonna be easy, but it's a good warm up. Gets the back crunched into the position it's gonna stay in for the day and warmed up for more fun. So let's get to the next spot. We've now come to the next spot. The ramp is in position here, and this is about four foot, I reckon. Bit higher, bit scarier, and we're gonna land to flat and stop before we hit that stop sign, which is a big metal, dangerous, painful post. Here we go. Polinis. Cool, so that was four foot. It feels scary, especially when you've got to jump over. Because if you clip it, you go over the bars. If you jump onto stuff, it's not as bad, because if you case it, you don't get hurt. So that could have been bad, wasn't. Let's go bigger. I just had a mind spark, and I thought, why don't we just quickly come into the bowl and see if we can jump up five foot. This is a five foot quarter pipe. I can drop in over there, pedal in, step up to flat. Well, oh, echo, ek. Echo. Oh, you won't hear it from there. Cool, I'm just acting weird. Right, here we go. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Might do a couple of tricks over here, like a little bar out. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, seeing how high we could hop. Let's continue that. We've now come to a new location. We've done this years ago in the past, but I thought it was much smaller than it was. It's actually about seven foot, look. That's quite big. So probably Danny McCaskill could have used the little ramp there, but I am not Danny McCaskill. So I'm gonna build up the next MTB Hopper, which is the MTB Hopper Pro. And this is a bit bigger, so we're gonna get a bit more lift. Here we go, let's do a bit of magic and get it started. Oh, the big one, this is well good. So this is gonna be much easier to get up with then. Just put this in position. Yeah, and then just blast up, and then off the other side, hoping someone hasn't just parked there. Woo. That setup's actually pretty all time. Let me see if I can get a tuck no hander off it before we go and jump up the next pipe. We just turned up at the next location. The van, the truck is in position. And we're gonna jump the whole way over it into that sort of landing there. The ramp is set up, but it looks pretty scary like that. That's massive. As long as I get over and fur, I just don't want to dent the roof or any of this thing. I'm going to go as fast as possible and worry about the outcome once I've cleared it. Let's wait for a good wind spot, get a good angle lubes. Here we go. I got kicked and winded a bit. That was cool. Let's get like a, let's get another angle, I reckon. A nice dramatic slow motion. Right, 
we just turned up at a new spot. Unfortunately, it's raining, but we're gonna make it happen. What I've done here is park the van in a sketchy location to land into this hip to landing. So I'm gonna hip over the whole van in the rain. I'm gonna set the ramp up, then we can show you, and then we'll just do it quick because I was just like dying to do this hip. And even though it's raining, we don't wanna stop the action. So let me get this set up. Actually, you'll be able to see through that door there, Louis. Open that, you can stay dry. Oh, it's really coming down now. This is ridiculous. You might have noticed that we've changed the ramp to a bigger version because we need the extra lift now for this huge gap. That's massive. I've got to go so big to clear that and turn up the lip and it's wet. Cool. As you can see, the ramp is quite a bit bigger, which makes the, the height we're jumping over quite a bit easier, actually. We probably could have used the red ramp for this, but this is a build up because tomorrow we're gonna go over my Sprinter van, which is a high top one. It's massive, it's gonna be ridiculous. So this is a nice little uh, warm up for what we're about to get into. So let's get a huge hip over the van and uh, then we'll get out of here so we're not wet. That worked way better than I thought. That's so good. There we go, we just jumped over my Vito van. We're now gonna to go to tomorrow, make a more ridiculous setup, and see if I can jump over the whole Sprinter van. It's gonna get really scary and we're gonna need a lot of speed, so let's go to tomorrow. We've now come to the next day. We've switched vehicles once again to the taller and more dangerous vehicle, which is the Sprinter. And we're gonna set up the airbag, this side of it, pedal flat out and try and jump over the whole thing. <gasps> oh my God. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> it's crack a <-body> <laughs> So night drove up for today. The van is covered in money. That's not gonna stop it. Look, look at this setup. Airbag on the back, the Jenny in there, the biggest hopper ramp, even bigger than the one we used yesterday, and two surfboards, in case you wanna shred your load <laughs> Right, let's get this all set up then. We'll probably put the airbag up first. Come on. It's actually getting windier as we speak. See that little crate up there? That's my case pad. Because if I was to case the uh, that big rack up there, I'd just stop dead and then the front wheel would come round and like smash the window. So we now need to set up the kicker. Come around the other side. For this, we're using the original fence stormer. This is a little bit bigger than the other one. It's gonna give me that extra lift I need. Because it's quite easy to jump onto something this high, but to go up and over it means you've got to be another three foot at least above the height of that to actually get the arc to clear the whole thing. So it's gonna be quite interesting. Let's magic this thing up, yeah? Oh my God, this is massive, look at that. It's now time to get the generator out. Oh. Hondi! We've just got to pull this gap in, because imagine I landed in the back. Uh, the bag's so big, <laughs> without me remembering how big it was, that it's actually not even gonna be that hard to do. It's still a good challenge though, look. It's a whole sprinter van. Here we go then, I'm ready for it. I'm gonna pedal flat out and jump over my sprinter van. It's quite good because it's almost the same width as the, as the van, so I just know if I go straight, I've probably got it. Haven't I? Yeah. Let's jump my sprinter. Whoa! Oh! It's just too easy! No way! 
I thought that was going to be so hard to do. <sighs> the hardest thing about it was my gears keep popping because of my bent hanger there. Oh my god, that worked quite good there. Let's have a little action reaps on that. For the finale here, we're just going to switch onto the jump bike for a couple of flips and spins. Like I said, it is very windy today, but I'm sure we can still do a bit, 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 Let's get this wheel in. Let's see what it's like in these gale force winds then. That's the worst conditions ever. I'm just going to finish this huge setup session with a backflip, because everyone loves a flip. Woo. That was so close, my front wheel skimmed that landing then. It's very windy, that's upsetting, but it is also reminding me how sick that bag jump landing is. So we got to do another video ASAP with the jump bike full sends on there let me know what stuff you want to see on that bag because we'll try and get it done also the height jump video isn't finished but it's going to be into a second part because i don't know what you want to see me jump over next let me know we'll try and make it happen put on that bombshell of out of breath excitement huge setups and fun that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it that'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. Let's go.